Timothy, how do I get a four-hour work week? Is that possible? The four-hour work week is possible, but you need to completely unplug and reset. And the reason that's necessary is because there is an epidemic, and I do mean epidemic in this country, of information abuse and information addiction, where people have come to believe that checking email 200 times per day, having a Blackberry to your head, or in your hand while you're at dinner, or on the subway, or in your car, or with your friends, is the path to becoming more productive and more successful. You mean it isn't? Uh, it isn't, because giving everyone around you, every person in the world, immediate access to you is inviting interruption and inviting minutia to completely invade your life, which is happening to everyone. Did and it happen to you? It did happen to me. I had no intention of writing this book, but from 2000 to 2004, I was working at startups in Silicon Valley. I started my own. I was CEO, and I worked from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day. I checked Outlook, hitting send receive 100 to 200 times per day like a, a rat with a cocaine pellet dispenser, slept under my cubicle, sent emails on Thanksgiving to prospects. It was a depressing scene, and it's a very, unfortunately, common scene. And I think everyone is at a point of overwhelm. There is more information than we can possibly organize. Time management is dead. There's well, a, how do you s turn, that, turn that around? The way you turn it around is you have to completely unplug and reset. That means that you need to take a step back, forget about what people expect you to do, forget about what's popular, and really look at what works and what is consuming your time. So there are four steps. There's definition, elimination, automation, and liberation. Definition is simple. First, you need to define your ideal lifestyle. What do you want to be doing from when you wake up to when you go to sleep? And so what do you want to have? What do you want to be? What do you want to do? And how much does that ideal lifestyle cost? And that becomes your target. Elimination is simple. It's getting rid of everything, all the static, all the noise, all the interruptions, all the micromanaging, all the people possible that interfere with getting you to that ideal lifestyle. The third automation is about taking the few remaining tasks that are important but time-consuming and either delegating, automating, or somehow outsourcing them. So in my particular case, I have an army of MBAs in India, about 25 of them who work for $4 an hour and take care of tasks that would otherwise consume hundreds of my hours. And then the last step, liberation, is about the final ingredient in lifestyle design, which is mobility. And then also how to use the time once you create it, which is very difficult for most people. Okay, this is fascinating, but that's the point. It is difficult. I mean, how do you put the BlackBerry down? How, aren't you worried that you're not going to make as much money, that you're going to lose clients? Do you have statistics that show that that's not the case? I have statistics that would absolutely make your head spin. So if you're interrupted by email and phone, there was an experiment done at King's, King's College, for example, that showed that people who were stoned scored six points better on an IQ test than people who were interrupted by email and phone. Uh, wow. And that good to know. Good to know. 26% of people in the American workforce are on the verge of a nervous breakdown. The system is not working. So it's not a question of, of if I should do this. It's a question of when. It is the only real alternative. So one simple step that people can take, a baby step to prove the concept, is to simply use an autoresponder, set up an autoresponder that tells everyone who emails you, I will be checking email twice a day. It's a great idea. At 11 and 4 p.m. Uh -huh. If you require a more urgent response before one of those two times, call me on my cell phone. Okay, if I start losing customers, I'm going to call you, Tim. You can call me. Okay. What's going to happen instead of losing customers is you'll get more done in the next 48 hours than you would in the next two weeks. If you want to see an amazing clip of a young Simon Sinek, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. All I did was codify it. And it's probably the world's simplest idea. I call it the golden circle.